Hi, Rob McKillops here uh, with my book, the uh, Play the Ukulele in Fifth Tuning from Mel Bay and all good bookshops. Uh, I'm going to play through some of the exercises. This is the first in a, a short series, and I'm looking at the first uh, five exercises on pages 12 and 13 by Bartolomeo Bortolazzi. Because um, he had a, an instrument that he was promoting that was very similar to this. Uh, he used gut strings, uh, tuned in fifths, and uh, a bit smaller than this instrument. Um, so I just thought it would be nice to tap into that. Um, here we go. Um, now, on the recordings for the book, I use a, a pick, plectrum. And uh, so I decided to use fingerstyle on the videos. Um, mostly I use an alternation of thumb and index, equivalent of down and up stroke uh, with a pick. Um, and occasionally I'll use my middle finger, but I'll get into that. Um, the reason for using down and up strokes, it gives you a strong and weak beat. Now, for instance, we'll use that in the, the first exercise. Okay, now just take the first bar. If I'm doing strong, weak, strong, weak, that's thumb index, thumb index. That sounds fine. Overdoing it slightly. If I reverse that, so I start with an index, it sounds like uh, the first note is an upbeat, um, but it should be the downbeat. So we're going to have, uh, it's important in other words, whether you use a thumb or an index, depending on where the, uh, the note is within the hierarchy of beats in a bar, this tends to be strong, weak, strong, weak. So I'll play that one slower. Okay, number two. Now, don't be afraid of sixteenth notes, semiquavers. Doesn't necessarily mean faster. Um, could be a slower pulse. So it could be this. Now there's one thing in there I want to discuss and that is shifting positions. So in bar four uh, we go up to the seventh fret, but how do we get there? If we're doing the start of that bar and use your pinky here, how are you going to get to the seventh fret? Your pinky has to jump and that's not a good movement. You won't get what's called legato phrasing, which means smooth connection between the notes. Um, so I'm using put my second finger on the fifth fret and that brings my hand up and then I'm using the pinky and then the third finger for the seventh and fifth fret and then the second for the third so that bar slowly thumb index okay All right, number three uh, this one is in jig time, 6-8, so triplets. Now this makes a difference to the right hand. Um, if we just alternate thumb index, the thumb is doing the accents, and what you get is 3-4 timing, 1 and 2 and 3 and... But that's not what it's meant to be, it's triplets. So the first and the fourth note should be accented. So here I'm going to go thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, thumb. So there's two thumbs in the middle there. Now, 
sometimes you make a mistake. It's not the end of the world if you play the wrong finger on the wrong beat. Uh, but generally, you should be aiming for strong and weak with thumb and index in the right places. Um, okay, so I'll do that one again. so slow <laughs> well when you're concentrating like crazy sometimes you make a mistake um, so there you go work on that um, the next one is different number four um, this time it's an arpeggio and we're going to bring in the middle finger and see what difference that can make so if I start actually I'll do it with just thumb and index first of all so thumb index thumb index all the way through finger on the first string, index finger on the second, and thumb on the fourth and third. difference is on the second string that note that's on the second string when I play thumb index thumb index it gets a thumb on it so it's going to be strong you're going to hear it louder when it's thumb middle index middle you're going to get a weak finger on that string so it's going to sound different now I'll play them back to back so just the first bar here's thumb index and then thumb middle index different so you know it, it matters which fingers you use so you could uh, work on that I'm not saying one's right and one's wrong it's your interpretation uh, you're free to interpret that how you want you can do it another way completely if you want um, okay the next piece number five starts with a rest a 16th note rest and um, so we're counting in one two one. Now, although it's the first note of the bar, the open fourth string, you might be tempted to play it with the thumb, but because there's a rest on the first beat of the bar, that would make that a weak beat, and you're using a strong digit. So start with your index, so it goes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Now over the bar line again the, the first note is missing, so you got to do index again. And 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2 index and 3, 4, yeah. And four and one and two and three, four, one index. So I think you get from these five exercises how important it is that you calculate uh, which fingers you're going to be using. Now I haven't written them in because the principle is, is the main thing and I want you to work it out. You know, you can write it in if you want yourself, uh, thumb index, middle, whatever. Um, you'll learn better and quicker that way. If I just write everything in, eventually you'll just stop looking. But if you work on the principle of a strong thumb, weak index finger. By the way, the middle finger is also strong. So it really comes down to the index finger plays the weak beats. Okay. 
and this will bring out uh, the accents that are in the timing for the bar. Now it can get a bit mechanical and uh, I'm not saying I do this all the time but a lot of the time I do and uh, there are instances when I might do something quite different. We'll get to them in other pieces maybe. Okay, um, there will be more of these videos and uh, if you haven't got the books available from melbay.com uh, and you can download it as an ebook from their website with uh, in all the sound files are recorded, every piece is recorded. Um, or you can buy it from them and from other stores um, as a hard copy. Um, okay, and uh, again, you have to go, even if you buy it as a hard copy, you go, there's uh, on the inside front page, there's a link here where you can download the sound files. So there it is. Play the ukulele and fist tuning.